All right, uh, good morning everybody. Thank you very much for taking the time out to come and up here to the Biocontrol Grove and uh, participate in the release of the second parasitoid that we're um, hopefully going to establish in California for the biological control of Asian citrus psyllid. I'd just like to take a few minutes to provide an overview of what's brought us to this point. Back in 2008, Asian citrus psyllid was first detected in San Diego County and Imperial Counties in the southern part of California. This is a very important citrus pest for the industry here in the state because it spreads a bacterium that causes a deadly disease called Huang Long Bing. April of 2012, Huang Long Bing was first detected in Hacienda Heights in Los Angeles County. We know from past experience that this insect and disease combination can be very devastating to citrus. It's had a huge impact in Florida. They've lost over 60,000 acres, maybe more of citrus there now. It costs them about $200 million a year in crop losses. About 6,000 people have lost their jobs as the industry has started to contract in Florida because of the disease and insect problem. So one of the things that the University of California Riverside has engaged in has been a biological control program to help suppress psyllid numbers in agricultural settings like this and most importantly in urban areas where we can't get in to spray people citrus trees. Some estimates have suggested that there's possibly more citrus growing in people's backyards than all of the commercial areas combined in California. So obviously there's a, there are a lot of trees that have psyllid populations on them. So beginning in September of 2010, Christina and I, we started really the first trip to Pakistan, one of six that was made over a two and a half year period, looking for natural enemies of Asian citrus psyllid in Pakistan. We worked in the Punjab region, we were based in Faslabad, and the reason we chose Punjab was because it has a very good climate match with California, it's about a 70% climate match. And Psyllid specialists think that Punjab is probably the evolutionary area of origin for Asian citrus psyllid and it has subsequently spread out of the Indian subcontinent as humans have moved citrus and citrus relatives into new areas. So in December of 2011 we released our first parasite Tamarixia radiata and many of you were here for that first release that we made. That parasite is now established in California and is spreading. Many of the folks from the CDFA are here today and they've been responsible for mass rearing that parasite and getting it out into the urban areas. And it looks like that's working very well now. The second parasite we have is Diaphorinsertus allegorensis. We have received permission to release this by the USDA back, I just want to check my dates, make sure I get this right, back on the 24th of November. This was a really long process. We've had this parasite for about three years in quarantine. Allison helped with this project. Uh, Raju, he's here. He helped with the safety testing and Christina's helped with the safety testing. So this parasite underwent almost two years of safety testing and we prepared a very large environment assessment report for the USDA to release, uh, to review. And finally we were awarded the release permits. That brings us to this point today where we are now going to make the first release of this parasite into the biocontrol grove here at UCR. The idea is that we are hopeful that this parasite will not only establish in California, but it will be complementary to Tamarixia radiata. And the reason we're interested in this parasite is that it attacks different life stages of Asian citrus psyllid. Tamarixia, which we've already released, attacks the fourth and fifth stages of the immature nymphs. This parasite prefers to attack the second and third stages. Asian citrus psyllid has five developmental stages. So we're hoping that through the combined action of both of these parasites, we'll put a lot of pressure on Asian citrus psyllid and its immature stages won't have a lot of breathing space, so to speak. So um, with no, no more babbling by me, I'd like to ask Chancellor Wilcox to make the first releases of these parasites into the, into the orchards for us. There is ACP here in the orchards and there are probably nymphs around. Uh, Chancellor, it's a very simple process. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's my best at. All we need to do is just tie the wire onto one of these branches and uh, open the cap and we'll just let them go. So today we have 557 of these parasites to release. So we're beginning now a very long road in mass rearing and establishing this parasite in Southern California. The ultimate goal is to rear tens of thousands of these parasites and release them into orchards like this 
with the goal of establishing them in California to provide biocontrol of Asian citrus psyllid. Very good. Got a few sleepers in here. All right, we'll just put them on the leaf here. Oh, no, good. And uh, they're eating their honey right now. So we put honey in the vials to give them some carbohydrates. And Do you want to open the other vial? That's the second one, please. Oh, there we go. So we have a few extra vials. I'd like to acknowledge Alison for her help in the project. She did a lot of the safety testing work for us in quarantine. Raju from Citrus Research Board. If you could come and make a release, please. That's good. Oh. Is it okay? That's great, thank you. Uh, Victoria? Whoa. You can make an opening as well. Where's Carol? Oh, jo Jody, Jody, could you make a release, please? It'd be great, thank you. Carol, too. Carol, come up here. Carol, so he's our, he can't call you out and then tell you to oh, not come back. <laughs> Carol. So All right, Carol. Yeah. <laughs>